It's a rare sight in Nahar al -Barid. Construction cranes and workers busy building new apartments. Amidst the renewal, signs of devastation. It's seven years since the Lebanese army leveled much of the Palestinian refugee camp. The armed Palestinian group Fatah al-Islam were accused of using the camp as a base to launch attacks in Lebanon and abroad. Thousands of Palestinian families were displaced by the fighting and most of their homes were destroyed. Including Sama Faour. She moved to the camp when she was just three years old in 1948 when her family fled Palestine following the creation of Israel. Now in her 70s, Nahar al barad is the only home she can remember and says it was only when her house was reduced to rubble by the Lebanese army that she understood what her parents lived through. I was a child during the Nakba. However, I feel what happened to us here in 2007 was far worse than 1948 because we were forced to live with nothing. One of the key issues holding up reconstruction in Nahal al barad is politics. Most Lebanese political parties see any permanent construction as a symbol of the lasting presence of Palestinian refugees, something they say threatens the country's delicate sectarian balance. After the fighting ended, the international community raised millions of dollars to help rebuild. But the money wasn't enough, and disagreements over the layout and design of the camp, as well as political opposition, has made reconstruction difficult. Now, after years of delay, that appears to be changing. The UN and European Union has committed to financing some of the redevelopment, and the Lebanese government has promised to make reconstruction here one of its priorities. A month ago, there was a meeting hosted by the Prime Minister himself, and he is the one who actually requested the International Committee to come and fund the reconstruction of the camp. So there is a commitment from the government of Lebanon for the reconstruction, and we, we see a lot of support in that sense. Whatever the case, some sections of the Lebanese government remain opposed to assisting refugees. As well as Palestinians, Lebanon is also sheltering more than one and a half million Syrian refugees, straining already limited resources. Which is why most here believe it will be many more years before they too see their homes rebuilt. Imtiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Nahal al Barad in northern Lebanon.